centuries, I have felt their coming. Shrouded in vanity, they believed themselves obscured. Free to wage their covert war upon the pure and the righteous. Even now, they gird their souls with contempt. Stalking their prey with a morbid pride. But they do not see the reckoning I have prepared for them. For their crimes, they will pay with most holy sacrifice. <laughs> For the grandfather's truths cannot be denied. It is the 41st millennium. For more than a hundred centuries, the Emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of Earth. Mankind wages a never-ending battle for survival against the demonic power of the Chaos Gods. But by one force is humanity shielded from true darkness. The Grey Knights. This secret chapter of Space Marines are the Imperium's surest defense against that which the Emperor foresaw would be its greatest threat. Humanity's blade against the demon. For in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Unidentified Astartes vessel. This is Captain Ferrani Everick of the warship Holiness of Ra. Geharis is lost. Repeat, Geharis is lost. All Imperial vessels are to withdraw at once. Astartes vessel, do you read me? Geharis is doomed. Please acknowledge this warning. You have done all you can, Captain. Go, in the Emperor's light. You cannot sail into this storm. We do what we must. Farewell, Captain. Tech Priest, report. Hexagonic wards are under maximal pressure. Commander, we cannot maintain this orbit for long. Dispatch the assault team at once. I will join them and put an end to this myself. Your will be done. The assault team is engaged, Commander. They clear a path for your arrival. Here I stand. One unbreakable shield against the darkness. Tonight the Cadium falls, Hector. Our quest is finally near its end.
analysis. The warp signatures fading. Then the blood ritual has ended. Where is that report? Report! Where is the commander? He died at Champion's death. Blade on blade against the Bowers blasphemy. Long campaign over at last. A victory at the cost of the commander's life. Alive, he was ever a faithful servant to the Emperor. A true hero. In death, at least his duty has finally ended. A session. This ship remains in crisis. The Baleful Edict is seriously damaged. There are grievous matters to attend. Ah, yes. That is why I have invited our guest. You have appointed him to take the Commander's place? No one else suitable survived the campaign. Falsehood. You also live. My apologies, Acting Commander. The priests of Mars do not understand our nightly oaths. <laughs> our men and stores are severely diminished. Your task is to lead us for the voyage home. It is a simple duty, and once we return to Titan, I will put the future of your command to the chapter's grandmasters. In the meantime, I will provide what advice I can. I will also support you with counsel and service. But remember, the Baleful Edict is my chief concern. Be careful with this ship. We sail for Titan on your word, Commander. the God Emperor. Dominus, who is this interloper? Code scrapings indicate an inquisitorial transmission. Baleful Edict, prepare for my arrival. Duty calls, Commander. We should open a Vox link. Inquisitorial vessel, permission granted to come aboard. Emperor, I found you. I must commandeer this vessel at once. Impossible. We are bound for Titan. The Edict cries out for repair. The Tech Priest speaks the truth, Inquisitor. Our last crusade bled us dry. I'm not blind, Knight. 
But heresy does not operate at our convenience. My destination is Koromar Prime, within this very system. Not such a taxing journey, I'd expect. And what is it that you hope to find there? This. Beneath rotting skies, the air thickens with a world's final breath. Seeds planted in flesh and bone, watered with blood and tears. A warrior alone in the garden of a grinning god. These are scraps of astropathic whimsy. There's more. It grows. It spreads. A great dispersal upon the etheric wind. The bloom proliferating. First, then Korama. Then world after world, its roots spread from an ancient veil. Inquisitor, hear me, hear me, hear me! Who tends the garden? The Astropath sacrificed himself to send that message. Now you understand why we must investigate. Commander. We cannot risk further damage to this vessel. It is the chapter ship, Dominus. The Inquisitor has every right to request our support. It is not a request. <laughs> Commander, with your leave, we will set our course for this Koromar Prime. Yes, good. That will do for now. I must commend you on this impressive archive of demonic lore, Commander. It rivals some I've seen in inquisitorial fortresses. I will require it as a base of operations for my studies. I respect your authority in matters of combat, but I must remain until I can ascertain some solution to this plague. I am, of course, open to recommendations on which lines of study you feel would best serve the mission. I must insist, however, I'm beginning my research with a necropsy of the Poxwalker carcass your brothers recovered. I am certain they hold a key to understanding this corruption. This Poxwalker was one of the Imperial faithful, afflicted with a strain of mutagenic virus. There is no doubt we are dealing with the work of the plague god Nurgle. This must be the bloom whispered of in those astropathic fragments. Within the carcass, I found a germ of some ancient power corrupted with a foul psychic resonance. This seed is used to spread the virus. Of that, I am certain. But it arrived to me damaged, and there is little else I can learn from it. In order to study how we might fight this plague, I must acquire one of these seeds completely intact. I can instruct your brothers on how to extract these specimens properly. Please ensure they pay attention. The Emperor loathes indolence. Let's not disappoint him. It is clear that these seeds are fragments of some vile artifact saturated with corruption. Once fused with organic life, they spread rapidly from the host, afflicting whole populations with a deadly plague. All according to the plague god's desires. Yes, but what confounds me is how it spreads so quickly between solar systems. I have issued an interdiction order for this sector. Interplanetary travel will be limited. With the Emperor's mercy, it will buy us some time. Denial! The Baleful Edict is far too damaged to begin a new campaign. And yet it must. This bloom is already ripening, evolving fast towards some dire purpose. Would you truly turn your back on the trillions of souls the Plague God threatens to devour? Never. But how do you propose we stop it? This seed radiates a psychic imprint from what I believe to be some kind of origin. 
With further research, I will be able to pinpoint that location. I would rather we simply purge them. That is the difference between us, Purifier. You are the hammer, but I am the one with the burden to wield it. Destroying it now would silence the only lead we have. If I can prove these seeds all radiate from the same destination, then we can follow that trail and destroy the source of the Bloom's power. Challenge? You said seeds. You deduce much from only one. You are correct, Tech Priest. I need more. One is not sufficient to prove my theory. Commander, you must send out your knights to harvest more. You would have us live around the sector with more of this corruption in my hold? I agree it is far from ideal, Dominus. But if the Inquisitor can locate the source of this corruption, then I advise we comply with her request. Affirmative. Excellent. We have no time to waste. Sharp rises in your heart rate and other physiological markers. For the unaugmented, this typically indicates either severe emotional distress or yes, psychic Yes, yes. It has been challenging, Dominus, but hardly a measure of my limits. Commander, the Inquisitor has completed her task. Indeed, and it has proved fruitful beyond my hopes. As I theorized, the seeds all emit a common signal from the same destination. Conclusion. Don't you see? Such power echoes in the winds of the warp, whispering of a birthplace, the source of their power. I believe the answer to every question will be found there. Inquisitor, you listen to voices in the Sea of Souls? You object to my methods, Knight? You are only human. You walk a dangerous path. I am a sanctioned Inquisitor of the Ordo Malleus. This petty dueling is unproductive. Inquisitor, you have located this site? Have I not said it? The seed's energy points here, to the heart of an Eldari craft world. The craft world Usaria. In the warp's tides, I saw visions of it overrun. The inhabitants slaughtered by the plague god's servants. Now, its wraithbone ruins act like a protective cocoon, shielding the bloom's foul energies from detection. Such a blasphemous sight will not be unguarded. Existing archives suggest this craft world is dormant. A swift strike could yield valuable data. Your tech priest is, as always, on point, Commander. When the time comes, and I urge you to make it soon, I will accompany your knights through the ruins of the craft world and extract the truth with my own hands. Throne of Terror. Do you sense the emanations? A warp song of corruption and disease. Maintaining distance. The edict must be protected. Inquisitor, this plan of yours was predicated on the craft world being dormant. And so the Eldari remain. Did you truly believe this plague would be similarly docile? The Sons of Titan are not chaff to be deployed recklessly, Inquisitor. Oh, cease your nursemaiding, Knight. Is this not what you were made for? Teleport us in! of a craft world. The avatar of Cain's strength has faded, but it remains untouched by the contagion. Inquisitor, do not let your fascination keep you from the objective. Be vigilant. The soul of the Eldar avatar may have yet survived. Those are mere echoes of its once mighty spirit purifier. 
This thing has not stirred in millennia. Inquisitor! Report. This is it. The heart of the Nexus. An Eldari Infinity Circuit. Where the souls of their dead reside. I can sense other bloom seeds below. But they feel... different, somehow. They suckle on the remaining power of the craft world, germinating here in... great demonic vessels. A slaughtered craft world used as a demon's nursery. This blasphemy should be destroyed at once. No. We know nothing of the plague's origin. This may be our only chance to learn its secrets before it matures into something far worse. Warning. Corrupted Xeno-Archaeotech is highly unpredictable. The path before us is plain, Inquisitor. Brothers, prepare to fire. You are here on my authority, Knight. Stand down! I must first commune with this Nexus. I see it now. Each demonic vessel fosters a great seed. A very strength. Inquisitor! Once there were five, but one has already sprouted. Carrying the plague we've fought so far, the rest are waiting. Do you feel it? The embrace of the Great Corruptor. This entity yet lives. Five Reapers. Five harvesters of the Grandfather's crop. Five charred gates in a putrid orchard, fed on the light of a trillion souls. Then the Morbus will come! Inquisitor, I sense a powerful concentration of warp energy below. The demonic vessels are responding to our presence. Are they maturing somehow? The machine spirits recoil. Our Auspex readings are disrupted. Inquisitor, this is madness. You must withdraw now. No! I need a sample. Just a sample. Have you taken leave of your senses? Brothers, defend the Inquisitor. Astropathic choirs scream. The Inquisitor's interference has kindled this bloom, causing it to spread with a virulence previously unseen. Our astropaths have augured entirely new strains taking root, different from the putrid phage we've seen before. Objection. We are not equipped for a protracted campaign. I have already requisitioned further support from Grandmaster Kai. In the meantime, we are the only force in the region capable of contending with this threat. As for our companion... Inquisitor Vakia is meditating within the Libris. Hiding, more like. 
Perhaps you would both benefit from a moment in the contemplation chamber. If you would give me leave, Commander, I would attend to our Inquisitor personally. Commander, Dominus, Purifier, ah, the things I've learned. Order is eroding, Inquisitor, yet you sound ecstatic. You misread me, Knight. What we did was necessary. I am simply eager to move forward. Forward? We face the destruction of this sector. That conclusion is uncertain. Yes, exactly. Listen to the venerable tech priest. We can't waste time lamenting a few minor setbacks. Setbacks? Do you have any idea what your- What our intrusion did was awaken the Bloom's germinating seeds. While this may have had the side effect of activating new strains of the Bloom, we have disrupted the Plague God's plans. Pure speculation. You exalt your carelessness as a triumph. This conversation vector is unproductive. I will speak more directly then for the warriors among us. Your Grandmaster Kai had it right in one respect. The Bloom is quite similar to other plagues of Nurgle we've encountered. What is unique is the vector through which it spreads. And that is? Reapers, powerful demons, incubated within the heart of that craft world. Each possesses a unique seed of immeasurable foulness, a prime seed, which carries a unique strain of the virus. The warp energy required to properly birth such demonic force into our space would be massive, but our, no, my intervention disturbed them before they were fully mature. That leaves them vulnerable. How can you be so certain? When I touched the Infinity Circuit, its avatar stirred for a moment, sharing a crucial insight. These Reapers can travel the arcane networks of the Aldari to spread this plague to different solar systems. We have already seen the results. Once a Reaper seeds a planet, the bloom festers and grows until our prognosticars detect its presence, often too late for us to effectively intervene. Contention. Bloom activity appears localized. Why would they not spread to all corners of the galaxy? You make an excellent point, Dominus. I do not believe spreading this virus is the final goal. The Avatar spoke of the Morbus, an event of apocalyptic implications. Five Reapers to open five charred gates. Then the Morbus will come. And you would have us trust this Xenos delusion. The Avatar was weak but uncorrupted. Revenge is a motive crossing all genetic boundaries. You have a point. I suppose you also have a plan. Yes. Destroy the Five Reapers. Without them, the Bloom cannot spread. Challenge. The Baleful Edict cannot travel the Aldari webway. No, we cannot. I will need a tool to track them by their sickly psychic stench. Impractical. We possess no artifact capable of detecting such profane spiritual resonance. Are you so certain? A shard of Wraithbone, pried from the Infinity Circuit that incubated the very evil we now face. I can bind the Bloom Seeds to this vessel and hunt the foul Reapers by their psychic scent. Corrupt energies, Xeno Archaeotech. Inquisitor, you stand on the precipice of heresy. I, no, we, stand on the precipice of victory, Ektar. Would you honestly prefer we defy the direct orders of your chapter, Lord? No, but I will be watching you, human. Spare me your preening, Knight. Once I forge this tool, a Codex Toxicus, will fall upon these Reapers with the wrath of the God Emperor himself. New mutations. The threat is magnified, Inquisitor. I grow weary of your self-righteousness, Ektar. Ah, Commander. As predicted, the Bloom is mutating. New and potent strains now plague the Sector. Five distinct strains. 
We have already encountered the bloom I've called Poxus, the strain of disease. The infected do not perish, but are cursed with a blight that molders even into their minds. This one I name Mortus, the strain of death. This noxious mutation annihilates entire populations before tearing the dead from their graves. Here is the bloom necrosis, the strain of decay. It binds itself to all things living and mechanical, rotting all it touches. Here we have the bloom dolorous, the strain of agony. It emits a compound that afflicts hysterical delusions and nightmarish torment on its sufferers. Last and most insidious, the Bloom Tentaris, the strain of growth. This malady corrupts the purity of the human form with powerful mutations. A corrupt gift from the Plague God. Your taxonomy has been enlightening, Inquisitor, but the Bloom continues to spread as we dither in details. We must respond at once. Ektar, your alert has disrupted my essential meditations. We have important tidings. I can already sense Nurgle's corruption. There is something foul at work. There! Curious. We have only just had word from Grandmaster Kai. The prognosticars on Titan have augured the advent of a dire omen in that very system. They spoke of a black edifice, a vortex of foul malevolence. Preliminary estimation, not to it, Crown. The Eldari Avatar warned me of this. Five charred gates in a putrid orchard. Then the Morbus will come. The Xenos are not to be trusted. The enemy of my enemy, Ektar. I detected no malefic intentions. We should not forget that the Plague God despoiled their home. Commander, let us be clear. If we do not investigate this threat, the consequences will be dire. What is this abomination? Our salvation. The Edict shudders with anxiety. This work profanes the Machine God. Mars will forgive us. The fate of the entire galaxy hinges on the psychic insight of the Codex. With it, we can track the Prime Seeds and hunt each Reaper down. How do we proceed? I will require a number of seeds from a single strain of the Bloom. With those in hand, I can attune the Codex to the strange psychic stench, tracking its most potent source amongst the stars. Query. Do the Prime Seeds within these Reapers emanate above all others? Precisely. The Codex will hone in on this power within the Reaper. From there, we will hunt them down one by one. Why do I get the feeling you are enjoying this? If I am right, and I always am, each strain will wither without its reaper to tend it, and we score another victory for humanity. This is no game to take pleasure in, Vagia. That's Inquisitor to you. We share in this sacred duty, Purifier. Would you deny me the brief satisfaction of a job well done? Noted, Inquisitor. But this job is not finished yet. It's done. I've attuned the Codex Toxicus to the strain. I can feel the Reaper's vile presence within. For any other citizen of the Imperium, this act would bring a death sentence. Yet you- Yet I what? Skirt heresy? Do you think I enjoy the strain this task requires? This is my duty, Purifier. 
When this Reaper manifests, I trust you will do yours. Your knights must be ready, Commander. The time has come. It is done. Your prognosticars signal a weakening in the strain. With a single stroke, we have ended its spread. A victory, yet we are not Fenrisians. We have no time for revelry while the Scourge remains. Accurate. Four strains of the Bloom remain. Yes, yes. There is still much work to be done. Let us not forget that self-professed Warden of the Bloom, Cadex. He will not sit idly while we wreck his master's plans. We will be ready. Query. What of the Prime Seed? Analysis suggests it is an artifact of significant power. I have already put a mind to that very matter, Dominus. With sufficient study, it could be reworked into a tool for our crusade. After the proper cleansing rituals, of course. Fortuitous. Unburdened by command, a brother purifier is available to assist you. Oh yes, quite. Exactly what I was thinking, Dominus. I will send for you, Ektar, when you are needed. I hear whispers. The sibilant murmurs of demon kind taunting me. Guidance. Turn off your audio receptors. We cannot risk demonic infestation on the edict. They are mere words, Dominus. Ah, Commander. I have attuned the Codex once more. This Reaper can't hide from us now. Excellent. I will inform Ektar. We must ready our forces. We will be ready. Another strain is halted, and we now possess a second Prime Seed. I admit, this path has succeeded. Yet these rituals are clearly taking a toll on you. Update. I have performed a biodiagnostic on the Inquisitor. She remains within acceptable thresholds. For now. I am not some lab specimen. My exposure is a small price to defeat this enemy. Let us keep focused on the immediate threat. Agreed. Consensus. The Omnissiah rewards our aggression. I... I am ready. I feel it through the void. A wind of putrid spores, I... A trillion innocents doomed with every breath. I did what was necessary. The Reaper's course emanates before me. We must resume the hunt. Reaper is dust, and a third strain grinds to a halt. Our crusade goes well. What say you, Inquisitor? Yes, a fine victory. Yes. I will await your next request to attune the Codex. Are you not well? 
I'm fine, yes. Simply weary from the last ritual. If I am needed, I will be in the Libris, attending to my work. Such a victory should have pleased her. Inconclusive. Emotions are inscrutable. Her recent biodiagnostics have all passed. She listens to the warp's whispers day and night. Such communion takes a toll on the mortal mind. We will need to keep a close eye on her. Emergent Nexus forming off the starboard bow. Battle stations! Cannot avoid shields! Run out the guns! What's happening? to repel borders. Ah, so this is what you've been up to, eh, Carter? <laughs> oh, you should know better than to trifle with such vile sorcery. No, Ektar. The Libris has been breached. I require immediate support. Ah, yes. Call your silver slaves. I'll use them to fertilize your corpse. Puppets of the Corpse Emperor! You dare imprison me? <laughs> You're Precious Codex is burned! The bloom will thrive! <laughs> we have him, this Warden of the Bloom. Throne of the Emperor, slay this creature! We cannot! Without the Codex, the remaining Reapers will continue to spread their strains unimpeded. He is our only link to the Bloom. Report. The enemy vessel is disengaging. What? Those cowards. It flees into the Sea of Souls. Destroy it before... Can the Codex Toxicus be recovered, Inquisitor? No. No, its precious wraithbone is shattered. I trusted it would be safe in the heart of a ship crewed by the Emperor's most elite demon hunters. The Emperor judges us all. This stillborn venture was your plan. <laughs> Delightful, isn't it, Carter? He not only questions your methods, but your authority as well. Silence, demon filth. Your time is at an end. Not yet. What? Why? This abomination serves the Plague God. He must be exterminated immediately. This demon prince knew enough to locate and destroy the Codex. I must extract what else he knows. You made this mistake on the craft world, blindly chasing mysteries. And what would you have us do, Ektar? Without the Codex, we will flounder in darkness while those last two strains spread beyond our control. 
<laughs> what indeed? What indeed? Commander, hear me. The bloom spreads beyond our capability to stop it. I am out of ideas, and we are out of time. My one hope is that this demon knows something we can use. If I fail in the task, do what you will with me. If you falter for a moment, I will have no other choice. <laughs> he fears you, Carver. He is not my executioner, but he will be yours. <laughs> Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Inquisitor! I saw it, Ektar. I saw it all. I thought you lost in the monster's mind. Almost, perhaps. But I've seen... I've seen how the bloom yet remains so strong. Analysis. A weakening Inquisitor. A hopeless cause. It seems your crusade ends here. <laughs> Inquisitor. Its power is drawn from a wellspring within the Empyrean. A network of roots reaching directly from the Garden of Nurgle. Sever these roots and the seeds will wither. The bloom will dwindle and perish. That is deep within the Immaterium. Far beyond the Edict's reach. The Dominus speaks truth. To locate the Garden of Nurgle within the Warp would be impossible, even for the Grey Knights. I have no more insight to offer. We cannot track the remaining Reapers. Nor can we walk into Hell itself, armed with only faith and fury. Even if we could, no weapon we possess could hope to cut them so close to the source of their power. I see no hope in this. There is not left for you, Carver. Not even that disgusting Grand Master could help you now. What did it say? Contradiction. Caldor Drago travels the warp freely. Ah, through! Additional. He bears the Titan Sword. No purer blade has ever existed. Uncertain. However, no armament exists on Titan which surpasses it. We must try to reach him. Your Supreme Grand Master has been cursed to wander the Sea of Souls. Our meeting on the Craft World was blind luck. We cannot simply shout into the void and pray he answers. Contra assumption. Conditions on the Aldari Craft World were novel, but distinct. Birthing of the Reapers echoed through a breach in the warp. Drago indicated being drawn to the phenomenon. To recreate such a disruption would require a force of extreme. The Prime Seeds. What? We only hold three of those cursed things. Yes, but each one contains a massive concentration of bloom essence. If I were to destroy them simultaneously, all that vile power would explode in a massive dispersal. It might draw Drago's attention once again. Insufficient. The craft world existed within unstable real space. A breach in the warp would still be necessary. Yes, but if we were able to find a place where the veil between worlds was similarly thin... Conclusion. The conditions that drew the Supreme Grand Master on the craft world could be recreated. I suspect the warp storms that ravage this sector might offer a potential candidate. 
an astute recommendation, Ektar. I am impressed. Ugh. Commander, we should set course for the nearest warp storm and scan for the necessary conditions. This planet, Sucrista, matches our Orstex telemetries. The veil between the Sea of Souls and real space is slim. The cathedral here was once a monument to the Emperor's majesty. Now it's a ruin to blasphemy and sacrilege. I can feel the emanations of misery within. Commander, this world is overrun with the bloom, while the warp storm narrows the precipice between our real space and the warp. This is as close to an ideal candidate we are liable to find for this ritual. With your leave, I will prepare the prime seeds for the mission ahead. All is ready, Inquisitor. The wards on the Prime Seeds are reaffirmed and are in your hands. Good. I will blaze them into the warp with the Emperor's purity. A pale ember against the flame of a trillion tormented souls. Cease your prattle. Inquisitor. It is nothing, Dominus. Initiate teleportation. Hold strong, Vakir. My brothers will protect you to the last. Thank you, Hector. Hector, the Inquisitor's pulse has risen considerably. Her resistance has proven almost inhuman. But it is clear she has finally reached her limits. I am ready to do my part. Upon her return, then? If she returns. He comes to you, Master. The fool needs to take you by surprise. Show me. Done well, Cadex. I will have vengeance at last. The Carver will not leave this garden alive. No! It appears we are being watched, my lord. Hello, little spy. That's it, Carter. Call your minions. You can all wait together. The demon alerted its master to our plans. How is that possible? I'm... Uh, I'm not certain. I believe it might have been during the ritual on Sacrista. Cadex has retained some agency since I entered his mind. Agency? What agency? Taunts, uh, murmurs, voices I have ignored. <laughs> oh, it has been a little more than that. Have we just damned the Supreme Grand Master to an ambush and death? <laughs> Precisely. I, uh, no, Ektar. I only did what I believe necessary to advance our cause. Our cause now? Inquisitor Vakir, with one blow, you have turned all of our efforts to serve the aims of chaos. With your leave, Commander. <laughs> you are right. I have failed us. The 
Inquisitor is the only being with an erudite understanding of what we face. Without her, we are truly lost. Without the Supreme Grand Master, we have already lost. Denial. This act is reckless. The Inquisitor's biodiagnostics have not yet totally collapsed. So you would have us follow this traitor until she does? <laughs> this is too much. Like children. Rationalize. We have all been deceived. Counterproposal. We intervene on the Supreme Grand Master's behalf. Are your logic pathways fried, Dominus? No mortal can navigate their way through the Garden of Nurgle. No mortal? Silence! Your words have done harm enough. Ektar! In 987 years, I have not observed a Grey Knight falter in his duty. Yet you fear this? <laughs> Say your piece, Fakir. It is true. No mortal can find their way to the Garden of Nurgle, but... A demon will always return to its master. What? Yes. Cadex has burrowed into my mind. If you were to banish him, I... I might use that connection to track his spirit as it returns past the veil, back to its master. More conjecture. Support. Archival analysis indicates stellar coordinates can be transmitted via astral telepathy. Both of you now? Dominus, even if we gamble on the purity of her intentions, this notion barely amounts to a roll of the dice and a prayer. That is all I have left, Ektar. But what does the effort cost you? Another demon banished to the warp? What of your baleful edict? Are you so eager to see it fall into the play god's hands? The edict will fulfill its purpose. I am a priest of Mars. Sentimentality is for the flesh. Vakir, your soul stands at the precipice. You have proven yourself stronger than any human I've known. But if you falter in this, even for a moment, I will have no choice but to cut you down. I would ask nothing less of you. Commander, you have led us capably since Agravain's fall, but in this our direction is clear. If we yet have hope to intervene for the sake of the Supreme Grand Master and put an end to this bloom, we have no choice but to pursue it. Inquisitor's strength yet holds. Brother Purifier, I require insight into the mission's next phase. Vakir has begun a ritual of banishment. When it is at its apex, I will purge the demon, and the Inquisitor will attempt to maintain her psychic connection with its departing spirit. In theory, she may sense its trajectory past the veil. If we dare pursue that signal into the warp, we may find the garden and locate Drago before it's too late. 
The odds of survival. The odds are irrelevant, Dominus. Only in death does duty end. beneath this pressure. We cannot hold. We must. The ritual is nearly complete. Embrace the grandfather's wisdom, Carver. You see it? We are one. And so forever we shall remain. Cadex Ilkarian of Systemonius, I give myself to you willingly. Take my spirit. Rakir! Right to doubt me, Ektar. A demon's essence cannot be tracked past the veil, but mine is now bound to his. I will blaze a path for you to follow. You sacrifice yourself? You are doomed to an eternity of torment. I doomed myself the moment I set foot on this ship. Grandfather calls. I must answer. I am his. begun transmitting a signal to our astropaths. We must follow it at once. signal for weeks. The edict strains, but the Brother Purifier appears far worse. The edict's warp drives have completely stalled. It is no matter. Our journey is at an end. Data insufficient. Have we reached the Garden? No. But we are met by its gatekeeper. What do you see? We are drawn into the orbit of a transient domain. It radiates with the energy of a prime seed. Credibility dubious. There is little sense within the realms of chaos. Two Reapers of the Bloom remained free of our pursuit. Why risk one against us now? Cadex must have reached his master and given warning. They delay us to pursue more valuable prey. Trago. Commander, it is time to prove ourselves worthy of our name.
Hear me. Hear me. Grandmaster, hear me. Brother, I hear you. Supreme Grandmaster, we are near. I sense your spirit within the garden. The hour must indeed be dark if you have conspired to reach me here. Forgive us, my lord, the cost was great. You are walking into a trap. A massive host of Nurgle approaches your position. Hmm. This maze confuses my senses. The Bloom's power here is overwhelming, yet I cannot afford to withdraw. The stench of these roots are plain. My cursed life is a small price to wager against ending this foul affliction. Then we will fight for you, Grandmaster. A great sacrifice must not go unheeded. Very well. I will take eight volunteers, Ektar. Four shall join me to face the foulness within. Four will hold this gate against the approaching horde until we can complete the deed. So few. Each of my brothers is an army unto himself. A mighty shield against the coming darkness. I cannot deprive the Imperium of its most valuable warriors for the trials that yet lay ahead. Your will be done. We are the Hammer. Dex, my little spider. What flies have you lured onto our web? I serve only to please, Master. If it isn't the Heart Carver and his gleaming knights. Mortarian, I should have guessed you would be at the root of all this. Who else could nurture such genius? I carve the raw material for the very first seeds from the corpses of your fallen brethren. Hunted and run down like the cowards they are. That Eldari cesspit was a nursery of millennia in the making. These roots I tended from saplings until they could gorge on the billions of souls my reapers have claimed. And now, here at last, Drago. Your sacred blood will fertilize the true harvest. The grandfather rejoice! My little garden 
will finally bear its most luscious fruit. The Mormus is at hand! Drago! You cannot win! Cadex, you treacherous worm! What have you lost? I did a win as requested, Master! Plague comes for the Imperium! I have eternity to ensure it festers! The perpetual coward. I expect nothing less from those who betrayed humanity. Some, however, take courage to the limits of folly. You will forgive the commander. He simply obliged an old man's wish to see duty's end. I would not begrudge a knight his sense of duty. But you must leave if you can, now. Mortarion's failure here has sparked the fury of the Plague God. We will draw their attention if we may. Inform the Grand Masters of what happened here. Commander, sensors detect conspicuous forms converging on our position. We must depart. I envy you, my brothers. Know that they fight on with courage and honor, even as the bloom decays beyond. We will infect the realms of chaos with our purity. We return to Titan. Brothers, you will be welcomed into the Hall of Champions. And she lost her soul to chaos. We had feared her fallen, but in truth, I misjudged her strength of will. In the end, she fulfilled an inhuman duty. Kartha Vakir sacrificed herself to preserve life and carve a path for hope in the future. She did so realizing that the price would be an eternity of torment. She is a credit to the Inquisition and has truly humbled this grey knight. Go, relay this to your masters. The bloom fades. Another triumph purchased at a bitter price. We have delayed our return to Titan for too long, Ektar. The Edict yearns for respite. Our duty forward is clear. Yes, duty. What say you, Commander? Are we finished here? As effusive as ever, eh? Dominus, set course for Titan.
maggot remains, Lord Draco. Grandfather Neville, protect your son! A pitiful end awaits those who serve Chaos. Warden of the Bloom, indeed. You may have caused me my standards, but patience is the grandfather's greatest virtue. There's always another plague waiting just around the corner. <laughs> For once, you speak the truth. Perhaps it is time to deploy more proactive tactics. Shield. To you, the chapter calls.